Hey guys, another video about benchmarking and all that in regards to Linux, in this case the NVIDIA uh, video cards and Intel CPUs and stuff. Hopefully I wish to see more YouTube channels or have the opportunity to meet with any of you that have other type of hardware. We can have a, an online live meeting uh, to benchmark your hardware against this one. So everybody can get an idea of how well it's running on Linux, independent of the distribution, independent of you know the, the, the video card. So we can compare. Okay. And this video is about two things that happened that I noticed today. One, and that's why I'm showing you this Gravity Mark uh, GPU benchmark. Because um in the beginning of let me see when was this? Like four weeks ago. So you know, in the beginning of the year, and there was another one, let me see, also in the beginning of the year, um, I did two videos about benchmarking um, uh, the video card against, uh, against Gravity Mark. On um, this video, I actually benchmarked the default Ubuntu, well, not the default, but the, the Ubuntu kernel that you can actually grab from here. Um, again, Sandmod and, and against Liquorix. And obviously at the end, Ubuntu was the, the best one between Ubuntu and Soundmod. Um, but I wanted to show you something. So at that moment, we were using the 6.1.5 and we were not using the latest drivers. We were using the 525.60, which were the latest at that moment. And then after the 525.60 came the 525.71, 72, 70 something. And then the 85, which is the last one up to this day. I want to show you what happened apart from the bug fixes that we always see with NVIDIA. I also got a performance boost. And I want to show you that performance because I was like, what? Uh, mainly affects 1080 resolution. But uh, it did help a little bit at 2K and 4K. So here, um, all I could get is this video. Uh, for 1080, and you can see that in the beginning of this year, I actually had 72,000 points here at 1080. Okay, and on this other video at at what uh, 1440, oh, let's call it 2K or something, we had 74,000 three uh, 74,363. Okay, but that's the average that we got there. Let me. Let me see what else we got here. We got 71, I think. Well, the only one that I tested was Vulcan. So um, let me see. We have a 4K here. Uh, this is a 4K 53. The 4K, yeah, it's a 4, 53. Okay. So today I did a couple of benchmarks. I don't know if I did the 4K, but I know I did the 1080 in the um, in the in the 2K, the, the 1440. So here are the new results. Based on using, instead of the 6.1.5 kernel of Ubuntu, I'm using the 6.1, uh, I'm just kidding myself. I, I don't know what, I'll say 6.1.9. Okay. And, and again, the 525.85 driver. So on, on 2K, we went from, um, and let's go back here. We went from 74,363 to 74,854. So it went up a little bit. Okay, a little bit. You can actually click here um, and you can see you go to details and you can see some of the information there. You have the kernel. Does It, it does say the driver version. Okay, awesome, awesome. That's good. Um, but then I tested, in, I don't know if I tested 4K. Just double check that. Was this from today? No, I haven't. Okay, I need to test this one to, to see what I get there. 53,200. Let's see. It, it's going to improve, obviously, because this is what I want to show you. So remember, in the beginning of the year, I got 72,000. 72,000. And now, when I did the test, it went to 83,600. So basically, I went from like somewhere in here, the fourth one, to the first. Basically, I got to the 500 FPS record for the 1080. Again, these are not 
overclocked video cards or overclocked CPU. I'm, I mean, just click here and you can see what I'm talking about. You can see it's a, the typical driver with the, the kernel that Ubuntu gives me. I'm not using sand mod or something like that. Um, I don't know what else I could be referencing here. Well, we have mitigations off, which if we consider that in overclocking, then yeah, sure, we're overclocking. We got mitigations off on the kernel. That's the only big change that I did, apart from updating the drivers and updating the the kernel for the Ubuntu 2210. And we got 83,603. Woohoo! I I will if if Arch Linux users are able to to start uh, testing with Gravity Mark, we can get a a sense of uh, the performance benefit of um, different distributions. This is this is a very cool app um, in regards to video, uh, video benchmark, a GPU benchmark. Okay, so if you want to test this out, you can go to I don't know how to pronounce it, Telusim, Telusim or something like that. They have this here, Telusim.com. I'm gonna put the URL there. Uh, and you click on Gravity Mark, and you're going to see this page. If you scroll down a little bit, uh, you see Get for Linux. It's a run file. So you right click this, Save Link As, and that's going to save. And then you save it whatever you want to save it. I normally save it on, the, on my home. And then you come here and you give it some executable uh, properties. Voila. And then you just run that puppy like this. You run it, you say yes, that, that, no, it does some verification there, and then you 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 run this puppy. Now, if you want to benchmark this on Arch Linux or other distributions, here are some tips. Uh, in order for the benchmark to actually go to a leaderboard or to the actual website, you need to be running at full screen, uh, and 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 you could put a name here or something like Arch or whatever. Uh, but put it in full screen and. For you to get the best performance, disable FPS, sensors, and info. They actually take down a little bit, but they do take down the, um, the performance and the end uh, results, okay? So just disable all of them, and you run that one. Uh, it, 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 I don't know if it matters if I'm in the, in the resolution that this is supposed to be. Normally, if I want to use 2K, I actually go to NVIDIA and change it here. Uh, you know, I put the, the 2K or whatever I'm using there. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it and where everybody's doing it like that. I do it like that because I, I I don't know if I select this, it will actually run at that because I'm, right now I'm in 1080. So but I do it uh, that way. If I want to use 4K here, I actually go to the NVIDIA or your AMD or whatever. You put it here, change it, and then you run this baby on that particular uh, resolution. Do note that leave everything by default so so it's easy to find you here because if you go to the leaderboard you're going to see that they're using the default amount of asteroids the default here rendering mode the default lod the default 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 everything um so when you come here leave render default select vulcan or opengl whichever you want opengl is going to be a little bit less than vulcan just so just go to vulcan on linux uh, disable everything on the show Select the full screen there, leave this one like that, or else people, instead of seeing you immediately here, if they come here, they'll need to like select the one that you you set. So really? I'm not, oh, right, right. Wait, wait, I didn't test. Okay, so I gotta test this at, ah, 1080. Okay, so I'll be testing this at 1080. Let's see how it goes with all those asteroids. Um. After I'm finished with this video, just to benchmark, and you'll be able to see me here um, in like an hour from now. So hope this app helps in um, guiding us all Linux users or Linux gamers to a point where we can actually benchmark the differences between distributions, uh, MESA uh, versions, uh, and, uh, GPU cards, you know, CPU, etc., etc., etc. It's a pretty cool app to use as benchmark tool and to to basically standardize creating a standardization so we all know okay it looks like this video card runs better on this distribution or 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 
on that other distribution or you know with this CPU or that other CPU. So I hope this video helps and gives you an idea of if you're an NVIDIA user or Intel user, especially NVIDIA, uh, you're seeing a lot of performance between those two jumps on, in the video card. Um, that, that was a big jump on the 1080. And if you're AMD, I wish uh, for you to use this app so we can get an idea on how the performance is being uh, handled in other distributions or the same Ubuntu. And so everybody can get an idea. Okay. So big hugs to everybody and thank you as always.